there, Whitney from WS asked the question, welcome to my video on how to present your show hack or show hunter's tail, like the dock of the tail for the show ring. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the two options you have. Don't step out into the ring like this, just an all natural look. No, that is not neat and it's not tidy. So that is the main aim of the game when it comes to showing that you put in effort, you, you try, you have a go and you know, you don't have to get it right the first time. Practice makes perfect and you'll get there in the end. Those that are dedicated and they push forward and they try, try, that you know, you fail, you learn, you fail, you learn until you succeed. So this is not a presentable tale for the show ring in two ways. So this is my future show hunter, Mr. Shrek. For those that don't know him, he is gonna be our model in today's video. And for him as a hunter, I don't clip, I don't cut the hair on the on his dock, so this all gets plaited. Um, so I leave that naturally as is, I don't touch it because I need these little hairs to pull in and make that plaited braid look at the top of his tail. And number two, he's got like the ombre look at the moment because uh, I don't put him in tail bag and he's out during the day, like during the mornings. Um, when he's not like when he's not being stable during the mornings, he has paddock time, so he has sun bleached tail. So to fix that, you just dye it. But we don't have any shows coming up anytime soon, so I'm not gonna waste money and put chemicals in his hair. I'm just gonna leave him natural. But just for today's example, um, yeah, I just want to show you and teach you guys that this is not a presentable tail for the show ring. Okay, so so what well, yeah so we've got the hunter this is shrek and then my sh open show hack teddy i will show you guys a close-up of his tail so it is a shaved tail and that's what you do to present an open horse for the open show ring yeah guys so that's teddy's tail that's how i present my open hacks tail you can plait them but it's each to their own um, I, th I think personally the plaiting looks most best on the traditional hunter horse, but that's just me. Um, there's no written rule as to what you should do with your horse's dock and tail and whatnot, but I highly, highly, highly suggest shaving for an open horse and plaiting for a hunter horse. And if you don't know whether your horse is a hacker or a hunter, in the future I will have a video on that. But for now, a hunter horse is, you know, the traditional workman horse. And then the open hack was the fancy horse the gentleman used to ride to church on Sunday with. So the hunters are working all day, a strong, going, heavy working horse. The hack is just a pleasure, pretty thing to show off on. That's with history side of things. So now the hunters are a heavy set horse, short cannon bones, and the open hunters are a light, nice thin boned horse, lighter on weight wise than um, a hunter horse and they've got a longer cannon bone so I'll do a close-up of that to of the cannon bones for example yeah so that's the difference there guys um, just to quickly briefly explain that um, without proper comparison of two different horses but we'll do that in the future when Shrek is back into show condition he's poofed he's got his winter coat now so he's not the best example for this video but what can you do as an equestrian um, YouTuber, you've only got so many choices. So he got his fluffy coat when we went to Sydney Royal. He went down to Sydney and then he said in an adjustment center and he was out in a paddock for a week. So his coat, yeah, he's seen that. Oh, it's winter. Poof, here comes the winter coat. So that's what happens when you don't put them under lights uh, in winter time. They get their winter coat. All right, so in a moment, I'm going to show you the transition of an unpresentable tail into a presentable tail for the show ring. So I'll see you in a moment.
Hi guys, so this is my attempt to show you guys, like I'm going to do two versions now. I'm going to do a messy, untidy, plaited tail versus a neat and tidy tail that is showing standard. This, everyone starts off with this and that's okay. This is not the end of the world. We all start from somewhere, but if you want to improve, like this is for how to improve going from this to this, you know, it's really important that you see that you, you've got to fine tune your eyes. You've got to, with everything, we all got to learn and fine tune and get better and better and better. Practice makes perfect. So we all start off like this, like this is loose, this has come undone. Oh, there we go, that's come undone at the top. The, like I'm gonna explain now what's wrong with this plait. So yep, this has not tight enough at the top and this clump has come undone. Um, now you've got this fray of uh, a plait. Um, this, a strand there and then there's lots of fuzzies down the side lots of bits that I've missed on purpose for the video um, because this is what you do do when you're, you're learning and you're just having a go when you're first starting so poke that back in there uh, and then the plaits so the strands of the plaits way too thick that is not ideal for a tail plait you need teeny tiny bits which I'm going to show you in a moment and then this is just plaited out and it's not folded over and neatly tucked in and sewn in like this and then also I haven't gone, so this is the end of his dock just here. You don't have to plait right to the end of the dock. Everyone's different, every horse is different. So the main aim of the game of plaiting tails is that you pull the hairs in and make it as neat and tidy as possible. You want a really nice fine tail plait here to really help enhance the hindquarters of your horse to make it give that optical illusion of bigger than what they are. So that's why you need a really neat and tidy nice tail plait. And if you can't do it, you gotta practice. This is, I'm talking to the girls and boys out there, ladies and gentlemen, that love showing, have a passion for it. They, you know, don't have cashed up parents to go and pay a groom to do it all for them. Plus, and it's, it's more part of the experience to be a show horse rider doing all this, figuring it out, learning learning it all yourself. Um, you feel as uh, deep down inside, yes, you mightn't have all the ribbons some days, but you, deep down inside, you know you've tried your hardest, you've done it all yourself. And there's nothing better than that feeling of, I did it all by myself. I didn't have to have money to get me where I, you know, where some people get in the show world. So not everyone's like that. Yes, we have those out there that do it all themselves and make great achievements. But more often than not, showing is basically the king's sport. And you know, just like polo, king's sport. It's the king's sport because of money, blah, blah, blah. Enough of that, jumping back to this. So, you know, and that's why I'm encouraging, this is why this video is here, to encourage you to better yourself, better your skills with your plating, because anyone can do anything. If that's anything I wanna pass on to someone in life, you can do whatever you put your mind to it. And I used to plait like this until I practiced and practiced and got better and better and I got there in the end and yeah so here we are today now I have a YouTube channel to help others to get where they want to get. Ooh is there a fly Shrek? Is there a fly? Do you want me to shoot a fly? Shoot a fly. Don't bother us we're filming. So yeah that there's my bit of wisdom and um, help in presenting so now we're gonna jump to me plaiting uh, properly doing a proper plaited tail so his hair is dry I do recommend having the hair wet so I have a spray bottle which you'll see in the next minute um, when I'm plaiting this next version um, I have a spray bottle and have a product so you can either hairspray hair or you use stays in um, the champion tail spray there's lots of different products on the market but I highly recommend champion tail sprays um, yeah they're really good and they help get that good sticky and grab on the hairs so yeah and then i also recommend getting up on a block don't stay in down here like i i was just before get up on a block get up on a stool crate whatever it's sturdy something safe um so that you're just that little bit up higher because it does hurt depending on how you know if ponies a bit easy to do he's a nice little size but those bigger horses you definitely need a, a step up to do that on because yeah, you just use the, lose the blood to your arms and it can be very tiring. You know, when you're hurting and you're plaiting, like your muscles, you're like, oh, I'm so tense. That means you're doing it well, like you're doing a good job, you're doing it. So if you're not hurting, like in riding, if you don't hurt, you're not doing it right. So anyways, let's jump into it now, guys, and I'll show you what a real plait looks like.
Alright guys, here we have it. This is Shrek's tail plaited. See how nice and neat it is up the top. Wasn't any, like there is no flyaways. There are a couple of flyaways along the sides now, but not as many as before. But I'm going to explain that next um, when we jump into it. So ideally you want the size of the plait to be this nice thin little plait size. As you can see, I've grabbed thicker and thicker just bit by bit. Well, it, yeah. That's my fault here, just for this demonstration, just so you can see, guys. You ideally want the same size plait all the way down. You don't want to get thicker and thicker like I have here, but this is what happens when you don't practice 24-7. So I haven't plaited in a very, 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 very long time, but I thought this would be great. Instead of undoing it, I thought I would leave it as is so I can show you guys, you know, what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to fold this under like this I, and I will trim this you trim this bit you trim along the sides um, of the little flyaways you you trim them off you fold that over and then you sew that into place like this so you get that nice loop in the end but I'll just poke it there just no, try and poke it there just to see so you guys can see before I do it but yeah without it looking messy like that you want that nice loop in the end and I tell you what, guys, this product helps making tail plaiting so much easier. It helps get that real nice strong grip on it after you spray it on the hairs. It really helps it all stick together. It feels like it's already been sprayed with hairspray and it hasn't. It's just the champion tail stays in plaiting spray. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. So my polo wrap that I had prepared earlier. So this is your lifesaver with all these flyaways. Instead of cutting and risking hitting hairs and cutting a plait strand, you use a bandage, guys. This is the ultimate tool in getting all these flyaways back over. So you spray it with your hair product. My Champion Tail stays in plaiting spray. I'm gonna spray all along here and then I'm gonna wrap this around the dock of the tail and then leave it. Um, you Ideally at a show, you leave this until the very last minute before you go into the show ring, make it the last thing you do, uh, taking off your tail wrap before you head into the ring. So let's jump into this guys, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okie dokie, now it's spray time. So now that that's all done, we're going to lift the dock. I like to layer it. <laughs> Put as much of the product on as you can. Alright, so now you grab your polo bandage. When it's foreign to your horse, that's okay. Take the time, don't rush this. Practice, you gotta practice this at home. Obviously, don't wrap the tail bandage super, super tight because you will cut off the circulation to your horse's tail. Don't plait the night before. Um, you know, the horse's tail, like, it's very, very important to them. And when you do the wrong thing, you can tamper with it and cause lifelong threatening issues. So, wrap it firmly, not super tight. So this bandage is really long. <laughs> Ideally, you're done. If I could just leave it there like that, but he's gonna switch his tail, so I'm just gonna have to quickly finish wrapping. I don't know if anyone makes specific tail wrap bandages. It's something I'm gonna have to look into. But these are my Weatherbeard Apollo wraps that I got on sale. So now that's done, we're gonna leave that. Like, if we're at a show, we leave that then. So I'm going to leave it now for a little few minutes just to help it all dry and set and really come together. And we will reveal the finished result in a moment, guys. Uh, but quickly, a few, few other things. So always use a clean tail wrap. So every show, when you're finished with your, your polo wraps, um, always, always, always wash them. Wash them. Um, you know, the main aim of the game is being neat and tidy and that you got to practice being neat and tidy. You can't just be like, oh yeah, that's clean. Everything else a mess. Everything has to be clean and tidy and sorted and organized. It's just a part of showing. When you've got that flow and effect in your background, it flows into you in the ring. So, you know, it's very, very, a uh, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes will reflect in the ring. So it's really important guys that 
clean and tidy and you, you're organized, super organized and super practiced. So with this, practice makes perfect guys. It's one thing I wanna drill, 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 drill. You've really gotta practice this to get better at this. So, you know, I'm not best at this. I'm not best at this, I will be honest. Like, psh, I hardly plait tails nowadays, but now that I'm getting straight up and going through these hunter classes, I'm gonna have to plait morning of the show, getting my two horses ready, one shaved, and then I'm gonna have my one plaited. So it's really, 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 really important that you put in the effort and yeah, you get your plaiting skills to a T to achieve those winning results that you want to achieve in the ring, guys. All right, it's been an hour now. We're going to take off his bandage and I will show you guys the results of bandaging. So unwrap this now. away nice and neat and tidy because it's clean all right guys there we have it Shrek's tail is now ready to go so we're going to the show ring it is nicely braided in and it's been wrapped so he's nice and neat and tidy for the show ring we'll do a close-up there we have it guys I hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful hope there was things you were able to take away and help with your overall appearance in the show ring. We will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck with all your show horse riding adventures, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!